Okay, here's the deal. I want to go ahead and put the whole Tito thing to rest. I'm a huge Tito Ortiz fan, as everybody knows. And I feel like I do talk about Tito a lot because I feel like I'm always coming to his defense. Um, we used to do a thing called response to comments. This is what I want. I want all Tito Ortiz haters. I want people to think he's a pussy. I want people to think he's a coward. I want people to think that this guy sucks. I want people to think that he's irrelevant. I want people to think whatever they want to think. But I want you to give me valid reasons why. And I will have a response. I will do a direct response to the comments. <clears throat> I, I mean, if you think that he ducks Chuck, if you think that he's nothing but excuses, if you think that, you know, whatever you think, if you think that he's just some celebrity that doesn't care about fighting, whatever you think, say it. I want you to say whatever you want to say about Tito Ortiz, but I'm going to warn you, okay? I do not say that Tito Ortiz is the best fighter in the world. I do not think that. I think that Tito is a very, very solid fighter. And if he's at 100%, he's a very uh, scary fighter, and he has a lot of potential to do a lot of damage. But in that sense, I'm not here to say that Tito's the best. I don't think that Tito's the best. But if you try to bash his character, if you try to bash the fact that he's scared of opponents, that he's not tough, that he's, you know, whatever other retarded crap that all he can do is beat Ken Shamrock, well, all that other crap, bring it bring it because I guarantee you I know a lot about this sport and I know a lot about Tito Ortiz and I will bury each and every one of you because you will not be able to say that that guy has no heart that guy's not a warrior that guy's just an excuse machine bring it I dare you